Hey, what's happening? A um, little impromptu here. I got my favorite Fender Jazz Bass I've ever owned. It'll never leave. I bought it in 2008 um, when these first came out. This is one of the first ones made, and it is immaculate. It, the neck, everything about it is uh, better than a $5,000 custom shop Jazz Bass I owned. No lie. Um, I love the period correct stuff. I don't mind the road worn. Neck feels perfect in my hand. It's not too deep, not too thin. Feels like an actual old jazz bass. And as always, uh, I did a couple things to this. I had my luthier um, go over the frets. Didn't need much. Had no, no fret sprouts. Never had any. I've had it since 2008. Um, 16 years in my hands. Uh, and he cut a, uh, a truss rod axis in for me. It's a little wide, this one, because if I recall correctly, the intention originally was to replace the nut end down in this with the spoke wheel uh, adjuster. And I just never got around to it because I can never find one that's big enough that's a base one every time I get one or I've seen one. It's a guitar size spoke wheel adjuster. So I just left that like that. Um, don't have to take the neck off to adjust it. A nice wide screwdriver fits in there easily. Doesn't bump up against the edges. Uh, it's got everything everything on this bass other than that. And this, when I get a bass that plays really well, I have him do it. It's got a bone nut on it, uh, hand-shaped by uh, Master Luthier, and man, what a difference. These are very mellow-sounding basses. The pickups aren't high output, much like the original Fenders weren't high output. That's what your amp's for. Sorry, but that's what it's for. It's got uh, my favorite strings of all time have been on it um, since a month after I bought it. It's got... Tomastic Infeld JF344s on it. Um, this is my second set um, because I had gone back to Ramon's for a little while and in a moment of insanity and hated it and, and bought a new set and put on about probably six or seven years ago. And the sound you're hearing is coming through the microphone. Audio Technica. Um, a good one, and uh, I'm playing through a Fender Rumble 40. This is my only jazz bass. I have one jazz, one P bass. I've got a fretless Ibanez. I've got a Hopner um, Gold Line, absolute beauty. Um, and a Fender Mustang JMJ that I use for recording. Or if my shoulder's bothering me enough and I have a gig, like a blues gig or a rock gig, whatever, even a jazz gig, I'll take that Mustang or the Hopner. But this is, this and my 65 P bass are my favorite basses to play. So if, if you're hesitant about a road worn, I would say get one. And if you can get an early one, get an early one because it's a 7.25. True vintage frets, rosewood fingerboard. Look how dark that rosewood is. It's literally almost ebony, and I haven't put any oil on it for about a year. This bass is flawless. I mean, you know, <laughs> I'd take this anywhere. This is my most go-to bass. All right, seizures later.